Dr. Donner, the National CME Conference on Wilderness and Travel Medicine is coming up soon in Santa Fe, New Mexico. You've been one of the featured speakers for over 20 years at this conference. What do you love about this conference and why do you keep coming back every year? Maybe the best part about it is that it's an amazing place to network with like-minded doctors and nurses and PAs and rescue professionals and military medical personnel and a lot of ideas that have ended up developing in the area of wilderness medicine often have been spawned at these conferences. And the speakers, what can I say there, represent a lot of different specialties and uh, the talks are highly varied and it's really an exciting place where people seem to be really excited about the curriculum and people joke sometimes that it's the only CME course they go to where they actually try to attend the lectures and they feel like they're missing out if they don't. We touched on this briefly, but what types of medical specialties do you see at the conference and do people need prior experience to attend? It brings together a wide assortment of medical professionals and non-medical professionals. And it's not uncommon when I'm teaching a workshop, the room will be filled with a neurosurgeon, a army medic, a special forces PA, and a dermatologist, and an orthopedic surgeon. And everybody is cross-pollinating their knowledge, and everybody in these courses is trying to learn how to deal with really common everyday medical issues. And the nice thing about wilderness medicine is it brings in a really common sense oriented approach to dealing with common medical problems. Is there an opportunity to learn and practice hands-on skills at this conference? Really varied workshops on wound care and suturing, on splinting, on ortho evaluations. There are courses for kids. There are survival talks and navigation talks and even knot tying classes. You are one of the lead instructors of an advanced optional course called AWEP that happens in conjunction with the main conference. Can you tell us about it? AWEP, Advanced Wilderness and Expedition Provider, is a course that grew out of the need for a more hands-on portion of the conference. This course provides many days of fairly intensive workshops, often out in the field, including scenarios, looking at what do you do when you have an injured patient in the wilderness and you have to evacuate them, you have to move them, you have to splint them, you have to care for them. And the part of the class that excites me the most is that whenever we teach AWEP, it's filled with just interested folks that might have very little experience and then sitting next to them is a trauma surgeon and sitting next to them is the director of search and rescue at uh, some large SAR organization and sitting next to them is a Boy Scout leader and sitting next to them is a special forces medic and everybody comes at it with their own perspective and their own little tidbits and their own little tricks and they often get excited because they say, wow, I didn't realize when I took this that I'd be learning all these skills that I could take back to the OR or I could take back to the emergency room. And in fact, they do. And it makes it really fun for the instructors as well because we always learn a ton from the group of talented individuals that take this class. Well, the feedback I've seen from the AWEP course is always really positive. And here's an example of that. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm an emergency medicine resident at the University of Florida, and I just finished the AWEP course here, and it was one of the greatest experiences I've had. This is a crash course in emergency medicine. Um, I can't believe how many things that I just learned in this course. I was like, wow, I could have done that at work. And uh, just some of the amazing tools that they showed us how to, you know, MacGyver, a crike, MacGyver, a sea collar. Um, you can literally do anything almost that you do in the emergency room outside here. And I learned just about every little tip and trick. It was awesome. I'm going home and I'm telling my program director that I think every single first year ER resident should do this. I, like legitimately learn things that I haven't even been taught in my residency. So, and honestly, anyone, we had people that are non-providers, mid-levels, everything in between. And I think everyone really comes out here very level field, on a level field. And I think that's the point of the course. 
Okay, Dr. Donner, to summarize, why should someone watching this video come to the conference? Santa Fe is coming up and it is really a great town. And there's something magic about it that is inexplicable, but it's got an energy with tons to do for everyone and really good food. And the conference speaks for itself. And I hope that we can see you this year in Santa Fe.